I made Aliyah in 2015 from Los Angeles, California. So my background is in politics and more specifically in political campaigns. So it actually lined up very nicely to help support Israel through the digital front, dealing with anti-Semitism and anti-Israel disinformation and misinformation on social media. I have a fiance, Yusuf Haddad, also a major activist. I experienced a lot of anti-Semitism on campus in California, and that's where I first interacted with this phenomenon of anti-Israel. I was very involved in campus pushing back against that, and after that I started working with Stand With Us. And during that time was when I started working as a columnist with Jerusalem Post as well. But when I saw what was happening with how people speak about Israel, especially in the international media, and the fact that there aren't a lot of people who are communicating to foreign audiences about what Israel is and what we're facing, I saw that there was a need and it was something that I really wanted to pursue. So I also started contributing uh, as a correspondent for Ynet, as a writer. And then of course, most recently, I have been working as a news anchor for ILTV News. And during these very, very difficult days since October 7th, it's been incredibly rewarding, but incredibly challenging. I did the broadcast on October 8th. I did the broadcast after 100 days of captivity for the hostages. I remember the first week I couldn't get through a broadcast without crying. <laughs> There's no words to describe it. I founded the Iranian-Israeli Women's Alliance, which is a group of women from actually all over the Middle East. I founded this organization because it was really important to me to highlight and elevate not only women's voices in the Middle East, um, but the coalition that's building between Iranians and Israelis. I have almost 70,000 followers who are based inside of Iran on social media. And to hear their stories and to hear what they say about Israel, it really gives me a lot of hope. And I've been able to meet a lot of really, really interesting people. I've been able to lobby on very important issues that help the state of Israel and of course help the Iranian people. I think one of the most rewarding things for me in all of my activities that I do uh, as an individual activist or as a journalist, uh, I have been able to raise a lot of awareness. I am so honored to be receiving the Sylvan Adams Nefesh Benefesh Bonetzion Award uh, along with such incredible people. I think it's such a privilege that we live in a time that we have the ability to come to Israel and to make a life here and to be a part of building and growing this incredible, diverse nation.